What's up, everybody? I'm Tim. This is Evil Penguin Games. And today, fresh off a of Kickstarter, I give you Gene Funk 2090. Now, this is a biopunk role playing game. This is going to be using the 5th edition rule set. Um, now, with that, this is a zero fantasy role playing game. So if you're interested in magic, this is not the game for you. But if you want to play a gene-spliced mercenary in the future and pull off some crazy heists or just battle some weird genetic monsters, things like that, then this looks pretty cool. Inside is everything you need to uh, create characters, play any of the campaigns that you want, build from there. Um, it is going to break down basically a lot of the lore and things in the world that they've built. So, let's take a quick look. Alright guys, so, Gene Funk 2090. Now, when, you first, when I first opened this, I was genuinely impressed at the quality of the printing from Kickstarter. This is just as good a quality, if not you know, on par with any of your major uh, RPG games like Pathfinder or D&D books. Like, this is a high-quality product. This is also made by CRISPR Monkey Studios. Um, take a look at the front. Uh, the inside, they have a bigger uh, spread of this art, I believe, but it's just really cool seeing the different gene-spliced character type characters you can be now the whole point of this game is like I said you're a mercenary so you would have a possible team of different gene, uh, spliced people and have different jobs and different things like that but let's open her up here again the quality of art is really awesome. There's that. Try to close up a little bit there. Yeah, you get to see a whole plethora of uh, different things you can be. Got an android, it looks like. Now this does use 5th edition rules, so I mean if you've played Dungeons and Dragons then you've got a concept of this game. You already pretty much know the rules, you just have to adapt to what the phrasing is, um, what, you know, what they're referring to like in abilities or things because it's no longer magic. And they have their, a couple of their own little uh, mechanics in here, but if you've played Dungeons and Dragons 5th edition, then you should be able to pick this up very quickly. And then I know you can create your own gene splice in here. And then they have a breakdown of uh, different ones. Like on the cover, this one's called Canary. Um, they talked in there as one of the oldest uh, genes, gene splicing codes or whatnot that you could be. They're like used as miners because they're a hardy tank of a uh, character. Or you could be spliced with a feral, a you know very animalistic and you know not <laughs> not human and uh, charismatic looking. And then have more here you go into you can do the leviathan giant alligator tank or they even have the tiny osalaska here and those ones looked pretty cool and interesting they have translucent skin and they're very very small so the average height is supposed to be very short because they are very agile and they're built to be assassins and their translucent skin can 
uh, attack, you know, you can be like a chameleon and blend in with the wall, and then they'll just, you know, just try to kill you. And then it goes even further in, and you have, uh, uh, like half bloods, so it would be like a non spliced and a spliced, uh, uh, offspring or so forth like that you might get a recessive gene and so you're only getting half of what your parent has and so it's talking about here with genetic prejudice there's a lot of prejudice within the world and like you're looked at in different ways you have a list of flaws And then, like, you can do even do thing, ex, um, extra things, like wings. You can't fly, but you can glide. And what I do think is really cool uh, about this is it's in a world where having the genes spliced and things like that is more of the norm than the not. So it just kind of makes a whole kind of world where you just... You don't know what to expect because if you were a normal human being, you are the odd man out. You can make character in here where you're more modified than you are flesh anymore. Or if you wanted to be a biohacker, you could make a giant raccoon uh, friend. <laughs> Couple extra arms. Uh, I love the this picture on the. It's a zebra man welder, for because zebras are known for their welding skills. It's a little known fact. That is a terrifying rabbit, man. You got your armor. Different tables of armor and upgrades. Weapons. What is cool about this is you are looking at like guns as well as melee weapons or other sci-fi you've got, you know, uh, electrical uh, gauntlets here and things like that. Crazy old man with a robot arm. Looks like here we've got um, vehicles, basic rundown of different vehicles. You've got a moped, motorcycle, sedan. very cool very cool concept I am always a fan of cyberpunk uh, biopunk things that not necessarily the norm and for when you don't want to cast fireball but you want to shoot a laser you want to be a mutant you want to basically just not necessarily be the good guy but be the anti-hero this seems like the perfect game for you um, and as well as being the 5e rule set, this is a very graspable um, set of rules. Uh, I, I would say that anybody with at least one experienced player, you could get a get session going in one night and be able to play. Um, 
should be hitting stores relatively soon. I got mine straight from Kickstarter. And I do know that there is going to be campaigns coming out relatively soon for this, hopefully. Um, and I hope this is not the last we see from CRISPR Monkey, because like I said, this is a high quality book. The content in it is the art is beautiful and the layout is good. This is just an overall good RPG. So we've got our uh, character sheets in the back here too. Quick look, as well as on, uh, I believe Drive Through RPG has them for printout. So take a keep your eyes open for this here in the future. Um, CRISPR Monkey Studios. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. Tell all your friends to subscribe. Help us get the word out. Helps. Uh, and if you want uh, to donate to our Patreon, Patreon slash Evil Penguin Games, everything goes straight into funding Kickstarter projects like this. So thanks for taking a look at this with me. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you want to see. Bye, guys.